Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video we have some War Within changes, specifically Rep Paladin stuff. So uh, they dropped a ton of War Within stuff today, and I'll probably be making multiple videos about multiple things that interest me, but it seemed fitting for the first one to be a Rep Paladin video, and stuff that's changing for Rep Paladins coming in War Within. Uh, so we'll kind of go through these, and I will give my thoughts on each of them. These are just pre preliminary thoughts. You know, nothing concrete, nothing, it's not a guide for War Within, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have new abilities. Burn to Ash. Uh, when True Sway critically strikes, its duration is extended by two seconds. Your other damage over time effects deal 50% uh, increased damage to targets affected by True Sway. replaces True Sway. So True Sway uh, was a talent and... Uh, they basically baked it in to Wake of Ashes, right? And so that's just going to be naturally in Wake of Ashes now. So now you actually get, a, and, and then the damage is slightly reduced from it, right? To kind of make up for it, because now it's just one talent point. Now you take your Wake of Ashes, whatever, and you are automatically get the burn part into it. And so uh, since you already have that, they nerf that damage a little bit, but they make up for it, in my opinion here. So now you get... Now, if you take the, uh, and by nerf it a little bit, I mean, well, let's talk about their goal here, right? The nerf a little bit is because now it's two talents into one. So they nerf the initial thing, add the other thing to it, and their goal is going to be that that is the same damage as it is now, roughly, right? With now having the option to add this new thing to it. And what this basically is, is when you get critical strikes, it's going to do more damage, and other burning things which we're burning things a lot now i don't know if like sunspots are going to count as this and stuff with war within sunspots is like a hero talent thing uh, but damage over time effects deal more damage as well on anything you hit with true swag uh, or, or your wake of ashes which you know hopefully is everything that you're fighting i guess unless the mob is or the pack of mobs is so big that you can't hit everything <laughs> but it should be pretty much everything you hit and so i think this is very interesting um i think it's good overall you know, it's, it's, I could definitely see this being really good AoE, and we're going to see an AoE nerf later on. And I think maybe this really helps, you know, deal with that. But it's also, you know, could be something used on single target. Who knows? You don't have to use every talent for every situation. Uh, but I don't mind this at all. It's kind of a wait and see thing uh, when you actually get to play it, right? Uh, next is probably the most exciting thing, and we see some changes here to Mastery. So on this channel and many other places, you've seen probably... Uh, people calling for some mastery changes. Now this isn't exactly the change that I was calling for by any means, but it does, I think, show that maybe they're listening. Uh, the fact that they have like a mastery section here. And basically mastery is buffed by 50%. Uh, you did start with 8% and now it's 12% baseline. That just means that um, it doesn't necessarily mean mastery is any better. It just means that you're going to get uh, a higher flat amount of damage from mastery right like right now in game i only have 19 percent mastery so i guess i'd be in the 20 percent uh, of mastery uh with this so it's just like a little bit extra mastery damage now the part that actually might help is the second part um gives judgment a chance it doesn't say what percent chance uh scales with mastery so scaling it has scaling now uh to blast the target with light dealing bonus holy damage. Now, obviously, the amount of holy damage is going to matter. <laughs> if that holy damage is so incredibly low, then it still doesn't help. But if that holy damage is really good and having 40% mastery, 50% mastery is like something good because you're hitting with this hard blast of holy damage, then mastery becomes really good and it scales and you want a lot of it, right? Or, or, or up to a certain point, right? You want to have a certain amount of it to where you're blasting the target with that extra holy damage as much as possible so this is completely dependent on tuning but we have an opportunity to scale with mastery now and it's not it's not guaranteed we won't know until we see tuning and stuff like that if mastery is any good because again if the mastery does if it does a thousand damage on that extra hit um that's not going to really do anything <laughs> you know assuming the numbers scale up into the next expansion right um but if it does a lot of damage, then all of a sudden it's really good. And, you know, the chances are it'll be somewhere in the middle of that. But we'll see where that's at. But it is a positive sign because they at least are listening and are trying to come up with a creative way 
to make mastery better and give us and they literally use the word scale right scales with mastery um and they, yeah, so we, we have a we have a chance there, and this is it's a win either way, but we'll see how they tune it, right? Uh, that's how I would say that. Uh, talent changes in tuning. Wake of Ashes now deals damage, but has the Truth Wake talent. Uh, less damage has the Truth Waste Wake uh, roll, roll by default, and the slow has been removed. That's eh, either, neither here nor there, I guess. But uh, that, we kind of talked about that already. I kind of baked that into the Burn to Ash thing. Adjudication, it now causes Hammer of Wrath to have a chance to cast uh, High Lord's Judgment. It was Critical Strikes, cause a Blessed Hammer to kind of go around you three times. Uh, now it's Hammer of Wrath uh, to cast a Judgment on them. So now what that does do is, and what I noticed uh, when I was raiding, and maybe I should have did a video about this, but the boss size mattered a lot, like the hitbox for Abjucation, and you would actually... Uh, if it was a smaller boss, you, you especially, you'd want to stand really close to it uh, to make sure, not not like on top of it, but really close to it to make sure you at least got two hammer ticks into it. And on a bigger boss, it'd be a huge hitbox. It'd be very easy to get all three of your hammers to hit into it. That's something that I noticed at least. Uh, I don't know how many people paid attention that closely to that. But if it's just casting a judgment, now all of a sudden, you know, it, that takes your... That, that insane level of precision positioning out of it, which actually I think is good because I thought it was really on Rashok is when I was doing it, my guild was really struggling with damage on Rashok and I was trying to add every ounce of damage I could. And uh, honestly, it was really toxic to do that. I think outside of like world first and MDI champions and PVP champions, I don't think we should really be worrying that close on our positioning, in my opinion. Maybe other people disagree. Art of War also causes critical strikes to increase the chance uh, by an additional 10%. So more critical strike uh, tools there. So we've seen critical strikes uh, extend our truce wake. Critical strikes help here. So now crit, crit has potential to scale a little bit more than what it currently does. Uh, these are good things. Blades of Light now causes abilities to deal holy strike damage uh, to do 5% more. That's good. Uh, now causes High Lord's Judgment and Holy Strike damage to grant a stack of Divine Arbiter. It did not include uh, High Lord's Judgment previously. These are just kind of like, mm, qual not quality of life, but kind of like common sense things. I've seen some criticism of this one. Now, I do not play Death Knight at any level, really. But apparently this is very similar to Cindergross's Breath. Divine Hammer is now a two-minute cooldown and consumes a Holy Power uh, to strike enemies every 2.2 seconds while active. Judgment, Blade of Justice, and Crusader Strike recharge 75% faster and increase the rate at which Divine Hammer strikes uh, by 15% when they are cast. So basically, you want to cast all of your abilities <laughs> and build up Holy Power, not over cap, of course, but have the Divine Hammer spend the Holy Power. I mean, I could see this definitely being used with Crusade, for example, right? It is a two-minute cooldown. Uh, with Crusade on, you're going to be you know, having a ton of holy power, uh, more than what you need even, right? Uh, with every other talent. And so with this excess holy power, this divine hammer might be a way to kind of burn through the holy power. And so, yes, I'm trying to frame this in a more positive way because I haven't seen it yet. And so uh, this could be something that, again, you pair with Crusade. It could be a different uh, option to go. We'll see how good it actually is. Execution sentence accumulation percentage is now 20% was 30%. So that's obviously a nerf, right? You might say, well, nerf is bad. Um, but we do not want all of our dodge, all of our damage into execution sentence and into final reckoning, which is what it currently is. Uh, we want damage from other things. And we've seen other things be buffed so far, right? Um, we don't want all of our damage into that because it makes that swapping between raid and mythic plus or single target multi-target it makes it just impossible we're the worst spec at this currently uh in dragonflight and you know we want to split our damage into different areas if you don't want to have that problem if you if you like that problem meaning you like that well i'm full single target or i'm full aoe and i'm nothing in between you know because that is a valid argument to make in my opinion um then this isn't for you. But for me, I think this is good because I, I hate not being able to do multiple things <laughs> uh, like in a, 
uh, a raid fight that has cleave or has AoE, but I'm full single target spec, I hate that uh, personally. Final Reckoning, damage increase on non-single target Holy Power abilities reduced to 15% was 30%. So this is basically a nerf to Divine Storm. It's not directly nerfing Divine Storm, but Divine Storm into Final Reckoning. Basically, it's just a nerf to AoE. I talked before, however, though, how... Um, so it's the bonus from Final Reckoning. So let me be clear. The Divine Storm on here is not nerf. It's the Final Reckoning portion of it, right? But what we saw before was like that burning damage being increased. So think of like your blade of wrath burn or whatever on all the targets think of you know maybe sunspots count as a burn um searing pain or whatever it's called the the there's another there's a talent uh on the right side i can't remember what it's called um searing light maybe i'm not sure but these burns that you're going to put on the targets now are going to do more damage so all your targets are going to be burning imagine like with ferox axe right everything's technically burning <laughs> and so you're going to be getting more damage from that and less damage from your final reckoning uh modifier and so basically more damage on poles where you don't have final reckoning or towards the end of poles right but less damage right at the start of poles which again if you really if you only play mythic plus then this might not be the best thing for you um for sure but if you, but now if you play a high enough end mythic plus, and you hate to see your damage go from really high and then slowly, slowly go down over the course of like a forty second pull, uh, or something like that, right? Or like let's say even like a fifty second pull, you know your damage goes down, 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 and then you go to the next pull and it goes up for the next final reckoning. Um, th this will kind of just balance out the damage more. High Lord's judgment. Reworked and renamed to High Lord's Wrath. Mastery is 50%, 100% more effective on Judgment and Hammer of Wrath. So I'm guessing for this, we're just going to... This might just end up being something that we take now. So currently, the High Lord Judgment is like... Um, you get extra stacks of Judgment on the target, so you don't technically have to cast Judgment as much. But we want to cast Judgment a lot, and it, the talent doesn't really make sense. Uh, so they basically just change what the talent is, and now it gives you... Um, more of your mastery's effect or whatever and you're probably just going to want to take this talent would be my guess uh righteous cause now has a six percent chance per holy power spent was templar verdicts uh final verdict just cars vengeance to reset the cooldown of blade of justice so this was the other uh version of art of war um and now it's six percent per holy power spent so uh every so if you have the four holy power thing then every time you cast, it's like a 24% chance to reset your Blade of Justice. This might make it more compatible with Art of War or whatever. We'll see there. I, that's just complete speculation, though. Uh, Searing Light now includes High Lord's Judgment. So this might be what I was talking about earlier. Your abilities deal radiant damage and have a chance to call down an explosion of Holy Fire uh, and leaving a Consecration. No, it's a Consecration, not a burn. Unless they count Consecration as a burn, which they could. Um... This is the thing that does the consecration on the ground. So uh, that now includes High Lord's Judgment as well. And then Templar Strikes. Uh, the continue combo increased to 5 seconds was 4. And Templar Slash now burns the enemy for 50. So this is another burn, by the way. Uh, dealt over 4 seconds was was always a critical strike. And uh, in, um, inherits Crusader Strike benefits as well. So... Uh, it got nerfed in some ways, the Critical Strike and the Crusader Strike benefit, but now 50% of the damage is a burn or whatever uh, on the enemy. And again, that kind of mixes with the other burn abilities. It, it, it's interesting, and again, there's nothing you can do but speculate on it. I don't necessarily think it makes it better or worse. I just think that it's going to be different, and we need to test it, and we need to play with it. So overall, I think these are good changes um, for the kind of things that I've been giving feedback for, which is doing something with mastery, having some scaling. We also saw a couple of abilities kind of scaling with crit now. I think we could have even more of that. And then we also had some of the damage being taken away from our execution sentence and final reckoning modifiers and instead spread throughout the rest of our toolkit, which I think is a lot more healthy personally. But I will say if you only raid and, and you're just like, there are people, in, and if you don't know this, there are people in raids who are like, I just do single target. All I care about is boss damage. And there are people in Mythic Plus that are like, I just do big damn. 
I'm AOE all the time. I do Big Damn. I do Mythic Plus. And if you're those specific groups of people, then you might not like the Final Reckoning and Execution Sentence change. But I will say for the majority of the player base, it's I'm, I'm t- just going to tell you, it's a definitely the correct direction to go in. So, I, again, I like the direction of all of these things. Uh, I have to actually see tuning, have to actually play with it at some point, right? Uh, but I, I like... I like the direction. I like uh, that they're at least they at least saw the feedback based on these changes. So, um, yeah, as I said, I'll have more videos coming out because there's a ton of stuff that came out today. I wanted to do the Rep Paladin video first. Um, yeah. And that's it for this one. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all so much. And other than that, everybody have a good one.